The concept of hedonism, thinking only of the short-term pleasures instead of the long-term successes and gifts that you can give yourself here and now. Well, I don't like looking at things in terms of linearity because I know a lot of holistic thinkers are going to get on my case for it. Let's use that for now. People get on the case of hedonism, but they do so from a perspective that improperly judges it. Why are there people that are fucking all these hookers with STDs and taking all these drugs laced with nasty stuff when they could be li leaving, living easier lives? When they could be living lives where they don't have to go through all that stress, all that unnecessary trouble and those nasty consequences. I find that modernity is boring. That's why people in the suburbs take a lot of crazy drugs. Because the suburbs is an example of something that can only exist in an unsustainable modern lifestyle. And it sucks. It's boring. What's there to do in the suburbs? I've been in the suburbs plenty of times. I've estivated there. And when my mom had me in her stomach preg when basically when she was pregnant I don't know if stomach is the right word to use but let's use that she hated it she hated being in the suburbs with her with my dad's family her husband at the time it sucked it's not likable and to this day, anytime I find any of my family, the younger members over there, they use drugs. Oh, even the adults use drugs. Maybe not the drugs he uses, but they use alcohol. They constantly put ridiculous amounts of fast food in their stomach. They use hookah, especially if you're Dominican. Hedonism is something that's been expanded upon by the issues of modernity. We have all the resources we need. We have no classics to attach ourselves to because the modern institutions that we're involved in don't want us to be too classically involved. And as a result, we have to look towards short-term stimulations if we don't know any better. I don't recommend it, but I understand it. I understand why I've got all these crackheads, homeless people, for example. Why do homeless people take your money and, you know, when they're panhandling, and then use it on drugs, because they have nothing else to do. Their life is a life of... surviving, barely thriving, but because they have nothing to unify them, nothing to spend those remaining hours in, they don't have our iPads, they don't have our MacBooks, they don't have all these nice little things, they're bored and they take it out on drugs or hookers or all of these nice little things that are being abused simply because there is no classic to unify them to. They don't have a connection to something that's traditional, something that's Time tested. Methane time tested. It's not. And 
with modern drugs nowadays, it's not just about how intense the high is, it's also about how long the high is. That's why coke isn't seen as such a big deal. That's why crack may not be seen as such a big deal now. And that's why meth is so crazy. That's why bath salts are ridiculous. Because our souls are unfulfilled. And we're weaker people because of it. I look at a guy from the 1980s versus a similar guy from the ninth, this decade, whatever you can call this one, 2010s. And it's obvious that we're weaker people. Modernism is making us into wimps. A lot of philosophers have different ways of handling modernity. You know about Nietzsche's way, you know about let's say hmm who's that guy? Avola, you know about his strategies you know about George Hackenschmidt, well maybe not him but he has his ways, he's actually an underrated philosopher in the fitness community, I notice a lot of fitness gurus tend to have it philosophically locked down, albeit in a more holistic sense. Many of these guys are Germanic thinkers, and sometimes becoming overly Germanicized makes us prioritize the wrong things because we're getting a skewed perspective and we're sort of taking it all a la carte instead of isolating what really matters in terms of fighting against modernity. And if you don't have a good, healthy position, your fight against modernity would be hedonism because that's the easiest thing. Fight abundance of matter with short-term pleasures to reconcile with the abundance of time placed on nothing and the abundance of resources or lack thereof lack of an institution or not even an institution institutions are overrated lack of a healthy social environment bad societies it's like Arini says drugs don't cause addiction it's bad societies do hookers don't lead to disgusting perverts bad societies do but at some point you're gonna have to stop blaming society and become a man and deal with it in a proper way. It's that simple. Okay, it's not... It's simple, but it's not easy. And plenty of us can relate to that. Not in a feelsy way, at least hopefully not in a feelsy way, because that's a little too pussy, but we can relate. But none of you are shit anyway, so think about it.